Getting round that first turn in front. Heat number five. Tapes are up, and away we go. Lambert's made a lovely start out of gate number three, but Max Frick is there, but round the outside comes Lambert. Frick slams the door shut down the back straight. That allows Massa Jonowski to go from third to first. Max Frick now replaced the compliment, coming back up Lambert. the inside. Lambert now coming up the inside. Can he get to the front? Not quite. He comes up the inside, back in the second place. Frick's been beaten up there. Absolutely, Jonowski had to settle for a second place to... Uh, in heat number three, sorry, to Freddie Lindgren, but uh, this one, fantastic opening lap there from Max Frick. Hard on Robert Lambert, moved right over to defence. Max sometimes uh, a little bit too friendly to his opposition, but he wasn't there, he moved right over. And we can see the left leg there of Lambert coming out, steadying him as he gets off the throttle. But that's allowed a big gap up the inside for Janoski. And uh, Max Frick immediately cuts back, great timing from him, but that allows a good run up the inside then from Lambert. What a hectic opening lap that was, and Lambert settles down. I've got to say, the way he came past Max Frick, thought he'd have the speed on Janoski, but once Janoski got himself in front, settled down for the win. Here we go then, heat number seven. Stop still, Hookerbeck's made a lovely start on the inside. He gets there first. Patrick Dudek coming round the outside. Kubera is back in third. Look at this now on the inside, Dudek, that is lovely. Absolutely fabulous move from Patrick Dudek. Nate Kubera has been struggling in the Polish rounds. He's had two poor Polish rounds so far, and so far tonight, it's another one for him. But this is the move from Dudek. Cuts back there, Hukenbeck. He's just leaning the bike over there. He's broken traction. Dudek's got his wheels in line. He just straight lines it into the corner. Waits till he's in front, then turns the bike. Doesn't even drift that wide, to be perfectly honest. Absolutely superb move from him. Finally, looks to work the outside. I think he realised perhaps for the first couple of laps the dirt line wouldn't be there. Again, he just hits that same rut. Bike turns right on him, he's lost a bit of momentum. What are we going to get from him now? He's going to the outside line, he's making up ground. Indeed he is, we're into the final lap. Bartosz Smarzlik, finally now, rolls round the outside of Andre Lebedev. It's tight down the back straight. He has worked, had to work overtime there. Just lost the momentum. Mid race, but Bartos Marsley wins for the first time this evening. I think he thought, okay, the outside for a couple of laps not going to work. Looked away for, for a way around the inside, the safe bet. Then there, moves to the outside, immediately gets himself in front. Great ride from him, not convincing pass. Lebedev's uh, certainly didn't cruise past him once he got out there, but I think it was difficult after the track grade. Perhaps in a race of two's time, that would have been a more convincing move. But nonetheless, three points, moves on to five. It's a little bit more comfortable for him now. Indeed it is. Bartosz Marslik, his racing brain. Mickelson is winding it on. Mickelson and Bewley locked together there. Bewley just about hanging on to second place. Yeah, Bewley almost trapped on the inside for the first couple of laps, but just like Smiles League immediately after the track grade. Now moving out wide, now going with the cutback. Oh, look at the straight line speed he's got. Brilliant move up the inside of Kubera. A few yards, and uh, Bewley at that point's coming under a lot of attack there from Mickelson on the first couple of laps. But there, he's moved over to the outside. You can see the back wheel hits the fence coming into the corner, nice cutback. There, just gets the wheels in line. He's not turning the bike quite as much as Kubera is on the outside, and a beautiful move there. Helps you a lot. Here we go, semi-final number two. Trapes are up. Brilliant start from gate three, but it's tied into the first corner. Smarzik, where's he gone? Where's he gone there? That's allowed. All sorts of shenanigans go there. Look at Mickelson out of gate three. Fires himself to the front. Smarzlik, who went very wide in the first corner, relegated himself to the back. Mickelson's oh, out in front. He's packed up. Oh, Smarzlik, drama there. Dudek's around the inside. Freddie Lingwin around the outside. Fabulous speedway once again. What a ride from Mickelson. He's come off the unfavoured gate three. We saw it in that. Look Freddie. at Freddie Lingwin go around the outside. Gore Mickelson by surprise there, and he jumped off his bike as he came past. And magic for Freddie Lingwin once again. Brilliant stuff. Super ride, and uh, another decent start for Mickelson from a bad gate. He just manages to work it all the time. Lingren through the middle there, runs across the outside. Big mistake in the first turn from Smarslik. Really don't know what he was thinking to move out. Everybody's been creeping around the line, making it work. And at that point, Lingren had hit the front. Mickelson had other ideas, times that cut back into the turn. Absolutely spot on. Dudek battled so hard throughout the four laps. 
but Lindgren, super brave. He just rides in that deep dirt. He just takes any small gap and keeps it on. Seeing it again, I mean, that is real commitment there from Freddie Lindgren. It's tight there with Dudek creeping around the inside and Mikkel Mickelson on the back wheel. I mean, Not a lot of room there. that is chaos brave again. Stuff. Very brave indeed. And uh, Freddie Lindgren, after a desperate time earlier this year, where he was really reflecting on his career as a whole, wow, has he turned it round.